Hey, what's up everybody? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video here on UMRV. Today we are working on making some straw bales and hauling them out of here. Uh, I did get started on hauling off some of these bales around the headlands. Um, we got just a few more left here around this headland and then we will uh, work on following him around on his up and down rows. And I got the tractor going and uh, putting up them bales uh, and he has been very busy. He's made quite a few bales already. But he has uh, gone around the field three times already, and he's now starting on his up-down rows. We have already made 75 bales, so he has been uh, very busy over here, and, uh, having a seizure. You good there, guy? <laughs> As long as he puts up my bales, that's all I care, I guess. Um, I do have all of the machinery sitting over there at our field uh, 33, ready to get rolling. Uh, we ended up with 4,965 bushels of wheat off of just this field. Uh, we're actually right around 5,000. There's like 30 some bushels in the cart. But, um, so we didn't do too bad. If we can get another three or four thousand and be around like eight, nine thousand bushels, we'd be sitting pretty good for, uh, wheat to sell. got room for three more bales and then we'll be able to take off and we'll go get this load taken over to our ranch and uh, get it put in the stack or put it in line with all the other stacks uh, we have about four stacks over there I think if uh, I'm correct so we got a, got a little bit. I probably should have started him a little bit sooner so he was at least a little bit further ahead of us, but that is all right. We'll get this done today, and then I think I think we might have enough straw bales off of this field to uh, make it through. I mean, we're almost to 100 bales already, and he's not even halfway done. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, I did make some adjustments to the game volumes so hopefully my mic uh, picks up a little bit better you guys can hear me a little better uh, I went back and rewatched my last two videos and I noticed that the mic audio was a little quiet uh, I am using a newer headset that I bought so still trying to kind of get all the kinks worked out of that kind of get used to using it here this trailer is kind of confusing to me I mean why wouldn't you put two more bales on it and 
be able to hold 18. And then you can get two more on here. Kind of doesn't make sense to me, but... I looked at using a bigger trailer. And... Uh, the bigger version of this trailer only holds two bales more. So it's not really worth spending the money to lease it for two extra bales. Alright, let's try to get this swung out. Now anybody that's been watching for a while knows I hate using trailers like this because, I mean, for crying out loud, we're swinging these bales around and dropping them where I want them. You know, just kind of whatever. And the fact that, you know, it auto-loads. Normally, I've never been a fan of using trailers like this, but, um, I mean, you guys can see how many bales I've already made. I would be here forever trying to load bales. And, uh, eventually I'd like to get the, uh, this Anderson bale loader just because it's a little more realistic um, you know it's kind of more like a hay hiker or something like that but I mean like using a trailer like this where I put the bales on there one by one just would not work that you know same with this one it just there's too many bales way too many bales for that I like how the dirt on our trailer is green <laughs> Apparently it's picking up more in the hay field than it is in anything else. So we'll head on back and He has kicked out quite a few. Perfect. Not enough to fill the trailer, but... Eventually, we will upgrade to a bigger baler. Um, I mean, gotta start somewhere, right? Eventually, I'd like to... end up with either the John Deere um, let's just go take a look here from this baler we'll probably be upgrading a little bit might upgrade to one of these two balers um, actually these are the same size so eventually I want to upgrade to either the Vermeer uh, baler or what I'd really like to get is the 560M. Um, what I really like about this baler is that not only does it have a little bit bigger of a bale size, um, you know, it shows the 180, but it actually makes them a little bit bigger than that. And this also... It also works with the twine add-on. I don't know why. I mean, you click on the John Deere one, you still got to select it as John Deere, but it works with the twine add-on. So you can actually fill it with twine, which would be very nice. I would uh, much rather run it that way and make it a little more realistic so we just
just need him to make two more bales and then we'll have a full load. So he's he's gonna be here for a minute. Um, let's see here. What's it say? 43 minutes it's gonna take him. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll do uh, some baling and hauling bales in this video and then I'll just finish it all off camera because there is going to be a lot and then when we come back in tomorrow's video we will uh, get back to some harvest and see if we can't get a good uh, portion of our wheat field finished up there getting a little squirrely Eventually we'll be loading this stuff up in our mixer and our processor and bringing it back over to that farm once we uh, get some calves going. So we'll probably let the calves stay over here for, uh, I don't know, until they're uh, about a month or two maybe. And then we'll wean them off and we'll haul them over to the other farm and get them going over there and then once our cows are about three four years old then we'll haul them on into town and sell them off once we've gotten kind of a established herd and everything's kinda going well we'll have cows to sell every year it'll be a decent source of income for us just gonna take a little bit to get there but that's how it works so we've got one two three four five six stacks of them already so we're definitely making a whole lot of straw bales we are going to have a lot sitting around which is a good thing we need quite a bit because we've got a lot of cattle already Let's actually take a look here at our cows. So they are at 21 months, 100%. So they're at 40% reproduction. Um, while we're here, just to kind of let that baler catch up, let's go ahead and buy a couple loads of uh, TMR and uh, throw that in because they could use a little bit more. Should be the last couple of loads that we have to actually buy for them. Um, and then we should be able to start making our own. Hopefully. I mean, we do still have a little bit of time until our corn is ready to chop. And then we have to give it time to ferment. But anyhow, let's go ahead and run over here. Let's buy a couple loads of uh, TMR to feed them. Total mix ration. Okay, I don't know why it didn't want to stop filling. But we got a full load now. So let's run this in here. Okay, PTO is spinning. Good. So 
Let's see if we can get to the feeder without running any cows over. Nope. Because this one is waddling right up to the trigger. Alright, let's get that going. <clears throat> we'll see, maybe we'll buy a second load. We'll see what... Uh... That's one thing that's kind of annoying. I wish the cows would move whenever you're bringing a vehicle in around them. That would be kind of nice. We got a hundred thousand, so let's buy at least one more load, maybe two. We might buy a second load, or a third load, we'll see. But for sure, we'll buy a second one here, and Gonna see where that puts us. There we go. Stopped it in time. I don't know why that doesn't want to stop filling with this mixer. It's kind of interesting. I don't normally like using them things for stuff like this but we kind of need it so oh now we got a whole bunch of them up here that's cool it's 38% pay 37% silage, 19% straw, and then a little bit of mineral feed. Oh, we hit something there. Alright, let's take a look at what we got. 112,000, that should do for a little while. I think we're just gonna keep this thing hooked up and we're just gonna pull it right up here for now because we'll see we may need to get a little bit more here in the future so we're just gonna let that guy sit hooked up there now our uh, tractor should be a good ways ahead of us so we should be able to just do some hauling now When I was looking through, I did find that I do have a semi-trailer that auto-loads, but it only works for the big 180 bales. So I was going to lease that and use that um, in this video, but unfortunately it did not work out that way because it's only for the 180s and we are making 125s so would have been nice if it would have worked but oh well Oop, and we just hit that one all right let's go ahead and pick up another trailer full Well over a hundred bales by now. Let's take a peek while he's stopped here. Let's look. What are you at? 117 bales. So we're definitely making quite a bit. So I have a feeling that we will be just fine in terms of straw bales off of this field. I was doing some looking uh, at
prices and if on our soybeans and our corn that we combine if we drop the straw we could sell those bales now if I were to do that I would either I would probably lease a bigger baler so that we can use that semi trailer um, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here do, 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 low loaders this 40 ton step deck trailer it auto loads but as you can see it's only for the uh, 180s we could lease that and then a baler that'll do 180 bales so the Vermeer or the Vermeer or the John Deere <laughs> um, and we can make some corn stock and soybean straw bales and use those to make a little bit extra cash um, if we go up to the value or the prices menu sorry so you can see right now corn stock bales uh, their highest is a hundred and twenty five dollars and eighty two cents a yard and soybeans are not too terribly far off of that at a hundred and fourteen dollars so we could use those and make a little bit of extra coin because we could use every single dollar we can get because I have a very strong feeling that by the time we get to we get through to the end of the year where we can start selling you know we've finished combining we finished chopping we finished all that I have a feeling that uh, fast forwarding through that many days we are going to be pretty close to broke so we want to see a full bank account so we can start trading in some machinery and start getting some more cropland as well. It's definitely going to be fun blowing snow over in this area to uh, get to our stacks this winter. Okay, so this is going to be the last stack in this row. That one's a little far down. Oh well. Last stack in that row. We're going to do a second row and go all the way down. picked up we got a few over on this piece that we'll get to first oh, that went a little too far for that bale there so he's down to another 28 minutes of bailing so we still got a uh, good trunk good chunk of this field to go yet here. Just 
just hoping that none of these bales are wanting to roll and go off into a waterway or the trees and disappear on us. Which, if they do, they do. It's not that big of a deal. We got a whole lot of them. And we're still caught up to them here. We gotta kick out two more so we can fill this trailer. Another one. Let's just see here. What is he up to now? In terms of bales. 128. Oh, yeah. We're probably going to be around 200 off of this field here, so. We're going to have a good bit of uh, straw. Perfect. Let's go grab this. get this load out of here and I think we're gonna be about at the end of our video and then like I said I'll I'll let him finish it and I'll get everything hauled off off camera and when we come back in the next video which will probably be tomorrow uh, it's currently Saturday you guys are seeing this here on Sunday um, but today I'm gonna try and get a good few videos recorded so let it kind of run through that stack just so I can line it up we'll kick it back over to where we want it bring it down a little bit here trying to make some kind of neater stacks a little crooked but if it's a little bit crooked, then oh well, so be it, I guess. I'm not too worried about that. I mean, if you see this haystack here, you can see our stack of grass bales is a little crooked a lot, too. As long as it's stacked somewhat nice, uh, make it easier for uh, feeding, that's really all that matters. Could uh, get another cutting if I really wanted to, but I could also, I guess, we could uh, sell the corn head for that chopper. And we could buy the pickup header, but it's going to take so much longer. We need to upgrade swathers because the swather that we have is just too small uh, I 
think it's like three and a half meters wide and it just takes forever it takes two hours to cut one of our hay fields so takes a long time to get anything done with the hay equipment that we have so if, unless we were in desperate need of it we're just going to let it be so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pick up what he has sitting here and oops and then I think that's gonna be all for today uh, like I said we'll get this finished up off camera and uh, get it done and then we'll find out what we end with tomorrow and go from there get back to cutting some wheat so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you are new here and have not already done so make sure you subscribe and uh, stay up to date with all of the future uploads and uh, we'll catch you guys in our next video thanks for watching